Hey guys, check out some of the cast's favorite moments from season four. I don't need sex because this competition is my orgasm. <laughs> Awkward. Excuse me? Oh, oh my god. Go and cut! <laughs> ah, good morning. I really good love morning. the chief moving into the trailer. I think um, that Derek has the chief as his new wife is something that I just can't get over really, really enjoying watching. Dry cleaning. Yeah, you want some coffee? And tell them that there is a stain on the left sleeve of the blue one. He's like the, the adult, uh, and at the same time he's a kid when they're out, out of the hospital. I'm thinking Godfather tonight. Sounds good. I'm gonna make him an all the game reviews. It's Brando. Yeah, got that. So they kind of seek a kind of unholy alliance with each other, you know, and, and, and it makes for some fun, but also I think it, there's some poignant stuff that comes out of it, too. Just saying that a man who is up fishing at 3 o'clock every morning is a man in pain over a woman. I've got a country western song. I'm pointing out it's a thing we have in common, Derek. Christina is very eager to work with me. I pulled all the x-rays for tomorrow's scheduled surgeries. And what am I supposed to do with them? Oh, I thought I could put them in the OR if you needed me to. Well, I don't, but I think she has to learn some things first. Yang, Stevens. Dr. Yang, Dr. Bailey has requested your capable hands. Dr. Stevens, take over prepping Mr. Nolston for surgery. But wait. Oh, just take it up with Dr. Bailey, Yang. Han sees a lot of herself in Yang, you know, and that, um, in the sense that she's she knows she's very good at what she does. Good for you refusing to trash him, rising above. That's very impressive. I am going to follow your example, Yang. And she wants to make sure that she earns it. It would be easier if you did it under fluoro. Well, I already have the TEE here, so I'm doing just fine. You, but you could reach it better if you, all right, forget it. I'll do it myself. Gown, please. I've got this. No, if you had done it, shut up and let me work. Let her work, Dr. Hahn. Mandy! Marcus. There's this moment when Bailey runs into her old boyfriend. Mandy? Every time her old boyfriend speaks to her, she starts giggling like a schoolgirl and just gets silly, 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 silly as can be. You do have atrial fibrillation. And Erica Hahn actually mocks her in front of people. A treatment plan you could have made yourself, Dr. Bailey, if you weren't acting like such a blithering idiot. This kind of was her opportunity to kind of live out this fantasy. But when that rejected feeling comes back again, and it's something familiar, and that whole invisible thing came in, I know I'm not the only one that's felt that mess. I may as well still be that high school girl with the mushroom hair cut and the Coke bottle glasses and the band uniform. The girl who didn't get to go to homecoming dance because it didn't even occur to him to ask me. I like having a scene where she's doing all the talking, I just listen and, and react because there's a lot you can do without saying anything. The conversation between Derek and Bailey where Derek admits that he was a acne-covered band geek. I'm just going to say one thing. In high school, I was 110 pounds and I hadn't yet figured out hair product and I too wore a band uniform. Sacks. Oh, oh. Probably one of my all time favorite, favorite Grey's moments. I would have been honored to take a girl like you to homecoming. The most exciting time that I've had so far um, was actually the last several episodes that aired, especially with Seth Green. He is awesome. Carotid artery. Exposed. Top that, loser. Hold still. Okay. Okay, that's it. I got I got it. It stopped. I got it. It smelled like a mix of Hershey's uh, like chocolate syrup and um, mouthwash. It was weird.
It was very bizarre, but it tasted great. Are you speaking the vagina monologues now? The fact that Addison immediately assumes that <laughs> Callie and Erica are lovers. There's this great moment where you see it all wash over Callie's face, and from that moment on, it's, it's hard not to share Callie's question and this complicated relationship she has with the question. She's sort of fearless in terms of their kiss in the elevator. And I think for the first time, Callie finds herself sort of losing herself in this person. And it's not really about she's a girl. Um, I think it's more about the person, uh, for Callie at least, because she's never had this experience before. So, why the brain? Why biology's crown jewel? Ah, oh, the Derek Sidney date, which is just so awesome. It was the headset with the magnifying glasses that tipped the scale for me. <laughs> but it's also that moment where Christina and Meredith are sitting in there realizing, oh my God, Sidney Heron might be the next one. I think they're on a date. That's definitely a date, right? Maybe she's dying. You know, I don't know what the world would be without Sydney Heron, because every once in a while when things are getting a little grim, you just need a little dose of Sydney to put things into perspective. Yeah, she's funny. She's a funny character. Derek. Sydney. I'm a lot of woman. Okay, I bring home the bacon. Uh-huh. Fry it up in a pan, serve it with eggs or on a sandwich or car, or rumbled up in a cob salad. Well, you do a lot with bacon. Not just bacon. But Derek, I bring a lot of things to the table. I didn't know her, like a pork product was quite that versatile, but apparently uh, Sydney can, probably can build a car with bacon. You saved your life. <sighs> the kissing scene. <laughs> Those seeds are always, <clears throat> always kind of, you know, awkward and nerve-wracking just because you're somebody you're not used to kissing. And then, you know, when it's Patrick Dempsey, uh, I think it's even a little more nerve-wracking. So I said to Patrick, you know, uh, I'm nervous and I look like a turtle. I, you, I have no hair. This is terrible. And he, instead of consoling me, decided to make fun of me the whole time. <laughs> Thanks. That was... Okay. Your voice is shaking. I'm an imperfect person. I think, actually, that kind of awkwardness set up the scene pretty well, because first kisses are often a little awkward and tentative and you know, they're new. And I 